water. Earth. Fire. Air. Zuka was such a big part of making this happen. Too bad he couldn't join us today. Asa and her family are visiting the capital city for the first time since her exile. Bio Lord Zuko needs to be there to support them. How did your tenure as the interim Fire Lord go? I had much more fun and more tea than I had expected. The National Tea Appreciation Day was a rousing success, but it only made me miss my little tea shop all the more. You'll be going home soon, I hope. Oh yes. Attending this is my last bit of official business. Afterwards, it's back to bossing safe for me. Looks like they're ready to make an announcement. Citizens of Yu Dao, the election results are in. Please welcome your city's new coalition government. <laughs> nation alongside Earth Kingdom. You really think those people will get along long enough to govern this place, Twinkle Toes? They've got to. Yu Dao's the example. The remaining colonies are all trying to set up the same system. Ah, my favorite part of any celebration. The banquet. Hey, Jingying, is one of your friends coming late? No, everyone who's supposed to be here is already here. Hmm, I'll be right back. Excuse me, sorry! Excuse me, please, I'm trying to get... <laughs> coming through, right above you! Oops, sorry about that! Hey, are you an acolyte? I don't know if we've ever met before. Where are you going? Wait up! Hop on my air scooter. I can take you to join the other acolytes. Avatar Yang Chen? I can't hear anything you're saying. I don't understand. No! No, don't go! Yang Chen! Mm. Oh, man! You Dow's gotta make brand new governments more often. My mouth is so happy right now. Yili, you've got to try this turtle duck. No, thank you! The ancient acolytes followed the ancient air nomad practice of vegetarianism. Sorry to hear that. Your mouth is missing out on a whole lot of happiness. How are things at the academy, Toth? Good, I guess. I've got so many lily livers. Er, students. These days, I had to make a bunch of earth tents outside of the school just to house them all. I want to expand the building, but we don't have the money. Why don't you charge tuition? With all those students, you'd be richer than the Earth King. The Beifong Metal Bending Academy isn't that kind of school. I don't want it to be a business. We're doing something new, you know? Something important. I mean, I didn't charge Aang tuition. I'm not about to start now. Speaking of Aang, has anyone seen him? Nope! But when you find him, tell him he's got to reconsider that vegetarian thing. His mouth will thank you. <sighs> Nothing. Aang? What are you doing out here? On the way here, I saw Avatar Yang Chen in the crowd. Yang Chen? Yeah. She was four avatars ago. The airbender avatar before me. She was trying to tell me something, but I couldn't hear her voice. So you've been trying to contact her through your meditation beads? I can't get through for some reason. Meditating just hasn't been going all that well lately. <sighs> Sweetie, I'm sure it's important. But if you can't do anything about it right now, come inside. Celebrations like this are important too. That's it! Celebrations, of course! Hey, our acolytes, clear your schedules tomorrow. We're going on a field trip. Yay! You guys are coming too. Aww. 
I was hoping to visit the Yu Dao markets tomorrow morning. I need a new bag. Man, you guys are gonna love this! <sighs> Doubt it. Oh, cheer up, Sokka. I'll help you shop for a new purse when we get back. Not a purse, a bag. A manly, manly bag. We'll be sure to find one that matches your manly, manly belt. Today's one of the highest holidays on the Air Nomad calendar. Yang Chen's festival! It's also one of the funniest. It hasn't been celebrated in over 400 years. And with everything that's happened, it might have been completely lost to history if Yen Chen herself hadn't reminded me last night. Avatar Rang, please tell us more. Where are we going? And what are we going to do? Those Acolyte kids are super nice and all, but don't they seem awfully... <laughs> eager? Yeah. We're going to a cliff overlooking the ocean, where there's this giant statue of a beautiful woman. That's where Yang Chen's festival begins! We'll gather together and bow four times as a sign of respect. Then, we'll walk down the cliff to a secluded meadow, playing traditional air nomad music along the way. Oh good! I brought my symbols! When we get to the meadow, we'll eat a ceremonial air nomad meal. Let me guess. Tofu, veggies, and not a lot of salt? Yep! Spectacular! Afterwards, we can visit an island just off the coast where Monk Gyatso used to take me and the other kids to fly kites. The winds there are perfect. I even packed an air nomad kite with our stuff. Where's the string? Why would you need a string? Oh, it all sounds so wonderful, Avatar Aang. It'll be more than wonderful. It'll be the way things used to be. If only for a day. Look, everybody! We're almost there! She's more beautiful than I'd imagined. Wow! Hello there, Mr. Cranefish! Happy Ancient's Festival! What a beautiful creature! Beautiful, but noisy! They're pretty common around here. Huh. I thought it'd be a statue of Yang Chen. But this lady doesn't have an arrow sticking out of her forehead. Who is it? To be honest, I'm not sure. The festival's supposed to celebrate Yang Chen's defeat of a powerful dark spirit. She's the dark spirit? No, I don't think so. The Air Nomad elders used to tell the story every year, but I'd always miss it because I was flying kites with Monk Gyatso. You'll have plenty of time to learn the intricacies of Air Nomad history when you're older. Isn't it a little weird to be bowing when you're not sure who you're bowing? Well, that's just what you're supposed to do for the holiday. That's just how it's done. That's just how it's done. But why do I have to bow to that giant slab of rock? Young lady, that's just how it's done. But why do I have to wear this scratchy, scratchy dress? Young lady, that's just how it's done. But why do I have to take such small sips? Young lady, that's just how it's done. Father, I want to go play with those kids. I don't understand why I have to spend every single day locked in this house. It gets so... So lonely in here. I'm sorry, my daughter. But this is just how it's done. Everybody, let's line up to do our bows. No thanks. Toph, come on. Don't be like this. I just don't feel comfortable doing that kind of stuff, alright? Toph Bei Fong doesn't bow to anybody. But this is important to Aang. Katara, it's okay. So important he doesn't even remember who the giant stone lady is? If it hasn't been celebrated in over a hundred years, and the world didn't end, maybe it isn't all that important after all. <laughs> Don't mind her. Air Acolytes, in fact, this is a perfect learning opportunity. Peace is at the very heart of the Air Nomad way of life. We let insults fly past us like a gentle breeze, leaving our inner peace undisturbed. Come, those of us who are not stubborn dunderheads will now do our bows. <laughs> Be my guest. Wow! That was incredible! My goodness! Um, you guys were doing something else. All I did was bow. Do you need some help with that backpack, Jingbo? No, thank you! As the most junior air acolyte present, it's my honor to carry the festival supplies! Acolytes! 
Pull out your instruments. It's time to walk down to the meadow for our ceremonial meal. Mmm. Hope you guys are hungry for some yummy tofu and bean sprouts. If we have to do this, can't we do it quietly? Toth, please. I thought I was done with these sorts of fuddy-duddy rituals when I left Gaoling. Can someone at least explain to me the point of it all? Let's keep going, Acolytes. We're almost there. Avatarang, is the meadow just beyond that town? What town? Oh no! This... This is where the meadow used to be! None of this is supposed to be here. This is... Was a sacred place! A hundred years have passed, sweetie. A lot can change. Smells like... Meat! I'll enjoy the Air Nomad ceremonial meal a whole lot more on a full stomach. We'll be right back. Katara? Is that you? Milk? I haven't seen you since you left home. I can't believe it! What are you doing out here in the Earth Kingdom? We came to work at that refinery. We? Is that Nutha? Yep, that's my sister. Nutha! It's me, Katara! Huh? Neok! Neok! Get back over here! I should go. Well, it was good to see you. Aang? Avatar? <laughs> what are you seeing, Aang? Yang Chen just appeared to me again. Behind the refinery? Yeah, come on! Ugh, what is that? Smells like what? Ah, it smells worse than rot! Go ahead, guys. Step on. We're gonna go check it out. But doesn't the fence mean we're not supposed to be here? No, the fence isn't supposed to be here. Make sure you keep your knees bent. Was that fun or what? I love being an air acolyte! Ugh, it's ten times worse now! This must be what Yang Chen was trying to tell me. It wasn't just about the festival. This land was once sacred to the air nomads. Now it's being defiled! Hey! You're not allowed back here. This is private property. Don't you people know what fences are for? Sir, I need to talk to whoever's in charge of the refinery. Who do you think you are to make demands like that, kid? I'm the Avatar! Once you cross that fence, all you are is a trespasser. Guards! Let's get him out of here! Are you guys hurt? No, we're okay. Move out of the way, Aang! I've got them. No, not yet. Here's another learning opportunity. A little help, please! Air Acolytes, as I told you before, peace is the very center of Air Nomad life. We don't engage in conflict unless it's absolutely necessary. And even then, things will often work themselves out. With just the slightest nudge! See? Bravo, Avatarang! This has got to be the best field trip ever! Flying fire ferrets! That was amazing!